Hey friends! So you might recall a little while back I was putting together some very Miami Cuban snack boxes for friends of mine that lived in different states. If I can find the video where I was putting those together, I'll post it up here in the corner for you all to check out. So I just received a box from my friend Felicia in Pennsylvania. And before we continue, I want to give an extra special shout out to my biggest fan ever, her daughter Coraline. Loving your YouTube stuff, friend. Keep it going. You're doing awesome. And thank you so much for watching. Also, your mom is pretty cool. You should give her a big hug for me. So Felicia and Coraline sent me a giant box of stuff. I've just sliced it open so that you guys don't see either of our addresses. But I haven't actually looked inside of it yet. Now, I am on keto and I have been for almost two and a half years now and I'm pretty sure that Pennsylvania is not going to be the most keto friendly state. I only say that because my limited knowledge of Pennsylvania includes things like the Amish and cheesesteaks and neither of those sound very keto friendly. But for the sake of this snack box I might bend the rules on that a little bit. I am however forever gluten free and dairy free so whatever's in here that might contain gluten or dairy I'm gonna have to reluctantly share with my husband. So without further ado let us see what is in the box. Oh my gosh okay enjoy this info I found at the farmers market. I'm sorry this took so long to send. Love you Phil. This is so sweet and I love that she included this. I wish I'd have thought to do something similar for Miami, but look how cool she included a booklet of Pennsylvania stuff. This is amazing. It's all like the touristy stuff to do around where she's from. This is so cool. I sincerely regret not including something like this in your box, Phil. This is amazing. I'm so excited to read this later. Oh my gosh, she put notes on everything. This is so cute. Okay. I just read one of the notes. I have to pick this up first because this is hilarious. She would, she would write this. Okay, so this is AP cake. I'm guessing that stands for Amish Pennsylvania. I honestly don't know, but it says AP cake. It looks delicious, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I can eat this. It's first of all, coated in sugar, which adds to its delicious lookingness, if I uh, do say so myself. But it's also probably got real flour in it and so gluten, so it looks so yummy though. But she wrote on the note, AP cake, super gross, Felicia. <laughs> and then she wrote underneath that, Felicia is a hater, don't listen to her, Evan. <laughs> Evan is her husband. Um, I don't know. I mean, having not tasted or smelled it or anything, I'm inclined to agree with Evan. But I mean, who knows? I don't. So thank you so much for this. It looks amazing. I'm sure my husband will love it. She's gonna be my my guinea pig since I can't eat this. That looks, cake looks so good. It looks like one of those big sugar cookies. Like it looks huge. like a pan de gloria, doesn't it? Yeah. Look, a pan de gloria is moist. It's like like syrupy. Syrupy. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? I hate you so much right now. <laughs> it tastes like one of those butter cookies, like the little butter cookies. No. But big. Oh no, oh. I'm so jealous. Oh my God. <laughs> my diabetes. Oh no. Everything has a no. I'm, I'm so, I'm loving this. You don't even understand. I froze the donut and whoopie pie. Hopefully they don't taste like garbage. Her box is already so much better than mine. Whoopie pie, solid seven or eight out of 10, Evan. <laughs> it looks amazing. This looks like a proper, like, it's so like full of frosting. That looks incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous of my husband right now. Oh, here's the donut, oh my gosh. Yum when warm and fresh, I bet. Apple cider donut, oh my gosh. That sounds glorious. It's so baby too, it's so tiny, I love it. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. Yeah, the first ingredient is wheat flour, so. Womp womp, this is amazing though. My husband is gonna love you, Felicia. <laughs> oh, this is heavy and it feels like glass maybe? There's not a note on this. This is so exciting, this is like Christmas. 
Oh, what? White birch beer is the best soda ever. Love, Fell. I've heard of this, but I've never tasted it. I've never had it. From Dutch Country, a treat, white birch beer. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be super sugary, but it is safe. So I have to taste something on camera, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is coming straight out of a box, so it's not cold. So I might regret this, but I feel like I have to. I have to taste something. Oh, it's so fizzy. Oh gosh, oh gosh, calm down. So question is now, do I smell it before I taste it? I don't think I want to. I think I want it to be a surprise. So I'm just going to bottoms up. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, that smells like, and it tastes like something medicinal. <laughs> oh wow, but what is that? It's super familiar, and I have no idea what it is that I'm tasting. That is so strange. What's in this? It's not bad at all. Natural essential oils. Oh my gosh, how funky. It's carbonated water, corn syrup, and essential oils, but it doesn't say what. Dude. That smells like something that I diffuse in my house and I don't know what it is. It's actually pretty tasty. Is this root beer? Is that what root beer tastes like? Miami's not a big root beer city, so I've never had root beer. That's really not bad. I thought I would hate root beer, assuming that's what this is. But this is good. I bet it's even better cold. Wow, okay, so that was good. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, what are you? <gasps> Elderberries, oh my gosh. It's like a little jam and it's so baby. Look how tiny that is. It's so cute. It says refrigerate after opening, but I can't help it. I want to smell this. Oh, wow. That is so good. That's elderberry right there. I mean, I knew it was, but yeah, that's really nice. Wow. Okay, this has to go straight to the fridge now. That's amazing. Small jars of local orchard yum yums. Apple butter is a big deal around here. Apple butter is scrumptious, so I am so excited that she included some of that in here. So I guess the elderberry snuck out of this container. This is, oh my gosh, peach butter. Peaches are my absolute favorite, by the way. I don't really care for them fresh. I love the ones that come in the can with the juice. That's all I ate growing up at my grandma's house, so this is going to be delectable. What else, what else, what else? I'm so excited with my stuff. Strawberry jam, oh my gosh. Spreadable fruit, excuse me. There's vegetable oil in it, that's so funky. Oh my god, I'm so excited for all this stuff. And I guess what's last is the apple butter. Yeah! Apple, sugar, cinnamon, cloves, salt. That sounds glorious and simple and amazing and I'm so, so, so excited for this. Fel, you really outdid yourself, man. This box is so much better than anything I could have put together for you. I don't know anything about these chips, but a bunch of folks told me to send this brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, these are salt and vinegar chips and I love, oh, and they're kettle chips too. I love salt and vinegar chips. So these are obviously going to be super carby because potatoes, but I haven't had a potato chip, oh my gosh, years? Has it been years since I've had a potato chip? Felicia made me do it. Let me see, I have to get a good one because I'm only probably gonna have one or two. This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is not even fair. Okay, wow. Honestly, like these have to I, I have these have to go away. <laughs> these cannot be near me right now. I'm putting them over here where they cannot call to me. Those are really good. And so this is the last thing. And it's also not got a note on it. So this is gonna be a surprise. Oh, there's a note inside. <laughs> Her notes are the best part. My parents love this crap. Usually heated and served over iceberg lettuce. Evan rating three out of 10. Felicia rating zero out of 10. Is it awful that their ratings make me that much more excited to try this? Bacon dressing, that sounds phenomenal, excuse me. Low carb, okay, let's see, what are the ingredients? Oh, it contains milk and wheat, oh no. <laughs> I was so hyped to try this. 
Wow, you could even use it in potato salad. Oh my gosh, I don't know, Felicia, this sounds kind of amazing. I'm gonna smell it at least. I know that my parents will love this, so I'll give this to them. That smells so yummy. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, I really want to taste it. It has like a mayonnaise-y smell to it. But if you made mayonnaise with bacon fat, which actually I'm kind of inspired now, I might make my next batch of mayonnaise with bacon fat instead of avocado oil. That smells so good. I bet it tastes even better. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about your ratings, guys. So that's everything. I wasn't able to taste too many of the things just yet. The jams, I'm super looking forward to. I'm going to have to use them sparingly, but I will fully be using them. On what I'm not sure, I know I can make some keto bread in the microwave, so maybe I'll enjoy it with that. I wish I could taste the bacon dressing, because that sounds so good. And honestly, this looks phenomenal. I know Felicia's not too hype about it, but it looks so yummy. I have to say, I was super pleasantly surprised by the soda, and I know that this apple cider donut is going to be amazeballs. Those chips, man. The chips are kryptonite. Like... I don't even know what I'm gonna do with myself with those chips around me. <laughs> Honestly, really, truly, I love this entire box. I'm so happy that you sent this to me, Felicia. Thank you again so much. If anybody else is interested in doing a snack exchange with me, just let me know in the comments. Message me on Facebook or DM me on Instagram and we'll figure something out because I love getting to know my friends by finding out what they like to eat. And in Felicia's case, what they don't like to eat. <laughs> It's just such a fun way to get to know each other and to get to know like the culture of where you live. You may not love the food you sent me, Phil, but this box is definitely 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching and a special thanks to Coraline. Bye!